All right, we're at uh, a site. These are some Firelight PS10 panels, brand new. Power Strike, Power Strike PS10s. Um, interesting panel, a couple of issues. So um, we have these coming from a main panel. There's a couple more floors above us here uh, with two more of these. So we're using this to trigger, in this case, these are general NACs. And these four here are sounder bases for intelligent sounder bases, Silent Night. That's auxiliary power for a door holder. And it's nice that it shows you that the uh, outputs are active with the red light. That's a very nice feature. Um, but a little couple of little quirks. So, so number one, this is their sounder base coming in right now. Sounder base sync from the main panel hits this one first. So. You wouldn't know this, but it's, we get these end of lines here. I'm not pointing very well. So in plus and minus is in the middle there, but, but in this particular case, the bottom is minus and the top is plus on the UL side. So that's why we had to reverse those wires around because we were getting short circuits on this and we we're like, what the heck? Um, this one doesn't have any general alarm, but, um, this one does. So originally we had this connected through too, going floor to floor. This is the, the trigger for a general Mac alarm and it was having the same problem. So, but then we reversed them, which, which cleared it. So we had, we went from panel to panel to panel with the end of line at the, the top floor panel. The problem was if we put this panel in trouble, so we put this in trouble, like right now. So we just put that general NAC circuit in trouble. And what it does is it opens this up like you would expect on any other panel. It opens that up and you get a trouble on that circuit. And with other NAC panels, my experience is when this goes into alarm, then the panel recloses this. So any downstream panels get powered up for the alarm condition. Um, this one doesn't reclose on alarm. When we put this in alarm, that does not reclose. So basically like this is the second floor. It'll actually activate, you know, even though there's a trouble out there, it'll, it'll put voltage out on these, but the third and the fourth floor do not activate. So that's kind of a serious flaw. The way we fix it is we put control modules in. So now our source from our fire panel hits the control modules. EXT power in configured as sounder base sync. So it's constant power coming in sounder base sync in the line for that is that, well, there's no in the line anymore, but it just hits the three floors of control modules. And then each control module has its own in the line. So they're, they're individual and they're supervised individually. It, you know, it's, it works fine like that, but um, obviously we have to use three control modules. We just have no choice. So it kind of, adds you know 80 bucks or something to the price of these in comparison to the competition um okay so next issue we're going to put this back and this panel is going to go normal so here's here's an interesting thing so the reason all these are active is because this is sounder based sync same thing here this is sounder based sync um so this has this has voltage in on it um when you know we just want it to be it's actually really kind of the same issue so when we when we disconnect this so that kills the next, that kills, kills them. So those are sounder based power out is gone. This one's gone. The door holder is still active because that's just programmed through the dip switches. Um, so now when we put a circuit in trouble, okay. And this is supervising these circuits, even though we really don't need it to be supervised because everything that that is feeding is a few control modules and a whole bunch of sounder bases and the panel gives us the loss of power on any of those devices. So this panel technically doesn't really need to supervise this, but okay, so we've got this trouble. This one's still off. So here's the interesting thing. I put the power back. It's, it's kind of the same issue. So I've put it back. This one activated, see? This one, um, this was in trouble before. See, that's still in trouble. It stays in trouble. It doesn't check for that trouble. Well, it does actually. Oh, here, let's even put it back. We'll put it back. We put it back and it stays in trouble. It doesn't clear that trouble. It doesn't clear that trouble. And this 
is still open, even though it's got positive voltage in there. And the upstream panels, they're all, they've all lost their power. So there's no power to this one or the two up, up above us. Uh, this, is, this one is feeding the, the sounder bases on the first floor, second floor, third and fourth above. So we can clear this, but it seems like that shouldn't be like that. The way, we, the way we're gonna clear this, see it's still in trouble here. Still in trouble. We just take the power off and then give that a couple seconds. Now the trouble cleared, and now we can put this back in. Put that back in. And now there's no trouble, so this relay is feeding power through. And um, the, the power is going up. So really, the situation is if you have a trouble, you know, something gets disconnected on one of these circuits somewhere, or a problem in one of the rooms in some fashion, and then you reboot the main panel for whatever reason, this temporarily drops, that goes to have a trouble, and now you've disconnected the upper floors. So it's a little tricky, but um, I mean, it's solvable, but that should, these, re, these should re-engage, or they should re-engage, and this one should too, when power is applied, uh, like when it's triggered. Anyway, that's it for this video.